We were having a good time, waiting for the big day. When they told us that she had listeria, we had no idea what it was. Absolutely no clue. Matt and I wanted a child. We gave ourselves a three-month window, and lo and behold, we got pregnant. At my baby shower, we had just a handful of girlfriends, presents, cake, fruit, vegetables, and the lovely cheese tray. It started, I think, on Monday. By Wednesday, she had a fever. It was 102.4. The doctor said, take her to the emergency room. They checked the baby. Allison was in distress. Her heartbeat was dropping. And that's when they said, you're going to have a baby tonight. And I was like, I'm only 33 weeks. Yeah, this frail little being. And she's got eight tubes running in and out of her. She was considered septic. They had to do rounds of massive antibiotics 24 hours a day. It wasn't until afterwards I learned you stay away from your deli meats, your soft cheeses. I didn't know that it could harbor pathogens like listeria. Allison today is headstrong, feisty, a spitfire, and the light of my life. She's strong, and that's what I love. Looking at me when I was in the NICU, you see tubes and monitors and everything. I feel lucky that I am alive. Wisteria caused prematurity. It runs its own game. It's harder for me to learn, but I'm catching up to the other kids. Today, she's very much a normal teenager, and if she can't play softball, she's miserable. safety for me is pay attention to your recalls first and foremost. Pay attention to your cooking temperatures when it comes to your poultry, steak, hamburger. We check everything we buy. We make sure it's in date. Every time we get new vegetables and things, mom washes them immediately. For a pregnant mom, pay attention to the doctor's list of foods to stay away from. But not everybody understands to stay away from your deli meats, unpasteurized cheese, and soft cheese. Being a foodborne illness survivor, knowing that my child almost died, you don't take a day for granted.